Hi everyone, my name is Ashish Gupta and in this video I'll be discussing the first problem from Kickstart Round Day 2020 that is allocation. So what the problem states is that there are n houses for sale. The ith house costs AI dollars to buy. You have a budget of B dollars to spend. What is the maximum number of houses you can buy? The constraints of the problem are that there are up to 100 test cases. The budget that we have is up to 10 is to 5 whereas the cost of the houses are only up to 1000. The small test case has n up to 100 whereas the last test set has n up to 10 is to 5. So let us see the examples. Now it is pretty obvious that if you want to maximize the number of houses we want to buy, we would want to buy the cheapest houses first. So the same can be seen in the example. So for example in the first sample case we have 4 houses and a budget of $100 to spend. The price of the houses are 20, 90, 40 and 90 respectively. So if we want to, so first we would try to buy the $20 house since we have enough budget to buy it. We would buy this house and we would be left with $80. We, we can then try to buy a $40 house and since we have sufficient budget we would buy this house as well and we would end up with $40 left. And then we cannot buy any more houses because the price, because their cost exceeds the budget we have. So we end up with a maximum of two houses for the first sample case. Similarly for the second sample case we have again four houses and this time we have $50 to spend. The cost of the houses are 30, 30, 10 and 10. So buying 10, 10 and 30 we exhaust all the budget we have and we end up with three houses whereas for the last sample case the cost of a single house exceeds the budget that we have. So we cannot buy a single house and in this case we do not end up with any houses. We have zero houses that we can buy. So the in my opinion the only difference between test set 1 and test set 2 is that in test set 1 we can use various kind of brute force approaches and even brute force sorting algorithms. So ideally what we want to do is we want to sort the houses in increasing order of their prices and try to buy the cheapest house first. So test set 1 allows us to use n square sorting algorithms like bubble sort whereas test set 2 would only allow us to use optimal sorting algorithms such as merge sort or quick sort and most of the programming languages have an inbuilt sort function that takes n login time so this is not an issue but whereas an alternative approach for test set 1 can be that we can also have an n square loop where I ha where the outer loop is the current house I am buying so basically there are if since there are up to 10 since there are to n houses that we can buy I run the outer loop from i equal to 1 to n and inside this loop I try to find the cheapest house that still has not been taken and after taking that house I can mark that house as taken so for example in this case I would iterate through this array I would see that 20 has not been taken I would take 20 and I could replace it with some infinite value like 10 raised to 9 or something greater than b and then again run this loop and try to find the smallest element this time would end up with 40 and continue doing this n times so this is again an n square approach but I will only be discussing the n login approach because it is because it solves both the test sets. So the code is pretty straightforward. We sort the array and we try to take the cheapest house first. If we cannot take that house then we cannot take any house after that either. So let us dive into the code. First I take all the test cases as input. And I also have this variable tc which stores what current test case is running like basically this is the first test case, this is the second test case and this is the third test case. I need this because the output requires us to out output the test case number along with the answer itself. Then I take nb and the cost of the houses as input. My next step, step would be to sort the uh, houses in a increasing order of their costs. This step would take n log in time. Then I have an answer variable to store how many houses I am able to buy. And then I simply start iterating from the cheapest house in increasing order of the costs. I check if I have sufficient budget to buy this house or not. If I do have sufficient budget then I increment my answer variable. I reduce my budget by the cost of the house and this is it like after going through this loop we will end up with the maximum number of houses that we can buy and then I can simply output it so 
this should be the code for this problem let me test it I'll try to submit it. Now while this submission judges, I would also like to point out that in this problem AI was only up to 1000. So we could also have used counting sort or basically we could have maintained a frequency array for all the 1000 values. So if there are 5 houses that have cost equal to 1 then I would have f of 1 equal to 5. and Basically this would help us reduce the time complexity from O of n log n to O of n but that is not required in this problem and the solution presented is more general irrespective of the range of the numbers because in the approach that I have shown b can be up to 10 raised to 18, ai can be up to 10 raised to 18, it would not cause an issue. And as you can see the test cases have passed, thank you.